I am Caleb Jones, and this is Alpha Male 2.0, and this is how to succeed during the coronavirus crisis. Lesson number six. You must be more flexible. Ooh, this is a hard one for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are like me in that you're kind of smart, and you're kind of set in your ways, and you kind of do things the way you want to do things, and that's the way they need to be done. They need to be done this way, or else that's not right. And I can't do it if it's not right. A lot of you guys lean in the direction of more INTJ type personalities like me. Some of you guys aren't, and that's fine. But you're still like this. You're very set in your ways. And during a recession, during times of contraction, economic contraction, crisis, things going on like where you can't meet up with women and things like that, you have to increase your level of typical flexibility. In the Alpha Tupano business process, I talk about niching, determining a very narrow niche and selling to that niche. If you are financially hurting right now, if things are tough right now, guess what you've got to do? You may have to widen out that niche or do things outside of that niche temporarily while the recession is going on. You might have to do that if you're hurting financially. Now, I'm not hurting financially. I'm doing okay right now. So I can still be very rigid in how I make money and how I see my women and my women life and all that good stuff. I don't need to make any radical changes. But if you are encountering problems in this area, either in your financial area or your woman area, you're going to have to be a little more flexible about how you earn income, how you make money, the specific things you do for the types of clients that you do or types of customers that you do, the specific things you sell. You may have to do things that you don't really like for a while. You may have to go out of your comfort zone for a little bit. You may have to do things that you feel that maybe you feel are beneath you. You know, the typical example I give, and this is very common, is, well, I don't sell things. I don't market. I don't sell. I have a college degree. Excuse me. I have a genius IQ. I went to Stanford. I don't sell things. Okay, no. That extended. You need to branch out a little bit and do things perhaps in different ways you have in the past. This also applies to your woman life. Some of you night game guys or day game guys who hate online dating might have to do a little online dating right now. You might have to. I'm not saying you have to like it. I'm not saying you have to do it forever, but temporarily you might have to do that. You've got to be more flexible in times of contraction and crisis because when things are good or normal, you can afford, quote unquote, and this in terms of women too, you can afford to be a little picky. And frankly, you should be. It's part of my advice. You should be picky. But you cannot afford to be picky when things are contracted. Again, unless you're doing just fine right now, like I am, then you can continue to be just as picky as you like. I'm talking about if you have trouble. So whatever rigid standards you have for how you make money, the types of work you will do or not do, the types of work maybe you don't like to do, the types of people or customers or clients or companies you like to work with or don't like to work with, the ways in which you like to date women, night game, day game, social circle game, online dating, the types of women you like to date or like to see, all of these things right now during this contraction, you're going to have to open up a little bit, be a little more flexible, be a little more chill about exactly how you get results. Otherwise, you can be like that prototypical person who sits there like this and says, well, I got laid off from my job and I used to make 80000 a year, so I'm not going to get another job unless it pays 80000 a year. And then they sit around unemployed for three years when they could have been working at 60,000 a year, 50,000 a year, but nope, they're gonna make zero a year because they wanna make 80,000 a year. Stupid, you cannot afford to do that during times of crisis. So you've got to be a little more flexible in terms of the actions you take and the results that you expect. Cool? Cool, join smic.com if you need more help with this, and I will see you very soon, very shortly for the next installment in this series. Stay rational, take action.